Well, in this morning's Health Watch, save alternatives to sleeping pills. You know, this week we heard the stunning news that people who take prescription sleeping pills have a five times higher risk of death. And Frances Largeman Roth, who's a registered dietitian and author of Feed the Belly, joins us with some foods that can help you get to sleep and also stay asleep. Frances, good morning to you. Great to have you with us. I love the way Rebecca has written a copy, Feed the Belly. She <laughs> told me to stay away from eating foods, but you're saying eating foods prior to bedtime is a good thing. How can that be? So we've all heard about turkey and tryptophan and, and the fact that that helps us get to sleep. And that comes from protein. But the thing is, the protein actually needs some carbohydrates to make it to the brain to help you fall asleep. Tryptophan con converts to both serotonin, which is a relaxation neurotransmitter, and also melatonin, which is a sleep horm hormone. And you brought some foods with you this morning yes. that, that have those things in them. Yes, exactly. So we have some yogurt with some nuts on top. So that's mm. going to give you that looks good. protein, <laughs> carbohydrates, and also calcium. Calcium actually helps the tryptophan to convert to melatonin. So there are lots of tricks that go on inside the body. Um, and then with the egg sandwich, you know, you could do a poached egg on this, whatever you want. But you've got the protein from the egg. You've got the calcium from the cheese. And then... And then you've got um, complex carbohydrates from the English muffin. You know what's interesting? You have a poached egg, and is there an idea thinking poach your egg as opposed to fry it or put it in, in butter, that kind of thing? You do not want to have anything fried or heavy before bed because that will actually keep you up at night or spicy foods. That's a bad idea. So, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. buffalo wings before bed, no. Oh, buffalo wings. <laughs> so I've been following this program all wrong then. So key lime pie or <laughs> apple pie, alamo, not a good oh, thing? No, not a good thing. The carbs are good. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's our, our next little uh, pairing here. Here. Car complex carbohydrates before bed, the, if you've had the protein earlier in the night, if you've had a steak dinner or a seafood dinner, these are, again, going to help those amino acids get to the brain. Hmm. So, so these are some carbs that you think would actually be worthy of eating at some point in the day before bed. I'm curious, when you talk about eating these, what time, mm -hmm. what time frame are you working with before bed? About a half an hour before really? bed, actually, yeah. Um, and again, 30 grams, about 30 grams of carbohydrates. So that's about three cups of popcorn, not so many pretzels is what we have there, and about half a cup of the, bread pu of, of the rice pudding. And that's actually a snack that I use before bed. I so for many of works. us who have been on a perennial diet, I've been on there for like 15 years now, you can actually eat foods to help you go to sleep, but it'll also help in weight reduction at all? Well, that's what you have to be careful of, and that's mm. a really great question. About 200 calories for these snacks. Do not go beyond that. So that plays into, again, reading our labels, using portion size, because you don't want to be heading off to snooze land, but then gaining weight. Oh, the 200 calories, that's been my problem. <laughs> okay, thank you. You also brought <laughs> drinks, which, and one of them here is mm. the one that I found the biggest surprise, yeah. the cherry juice. The cherry juice, cherry juice actually has melatonin in it. So studies have shown that two glasses a day can actually help you sleep and keep you asleep. And, and, and that's actually, you know, the, uh, the wine that we have there, that's the double-edged sword with the wine. One glass, good. <laughs> Two glasses or more, bad, because you go to sleep, but then your sleep is disrupted. Francis Largeman-Roth, as always, thank you so much. We thank appreciate you. it.